One Odd Day by Doris Fisher and Danny Sneed, illustrated by Karen Lee. Wake up! The alarm clock rang next to my head. It looked mighty odd as I tumbled from the bed. The clock had just the odd numbers. One, three, five, seven. Followed by odd numbers nine and eleven. But on I put on one sock. I found one stinky shoe. I pulled on my old jeans and a shirt that was new. What a surprise! I discovered three sleeves hung from the shirt. One hung from my back as I hurried to leave. I gulped down my breakfast of burnt toast and eggs while Princess, my dog, pranced around danced a jig on five legs. With three legs in front, she did not look the same. She still wagged her tail when I called out her name. Here's your lunch, Mom reminded. There's no time to fuss. Grab seven bananas and go catch that bus. I bounced on a polka dot bus number nine, thinking my class and school would be just fine. I stared as the calendar crawled up the wall. It only had odd days. No, even at all. In math class, we learned from our teacher, Ms. Dodd, that numbers called even are found between odd. What great news, I thought. I'm going outside to play. Tomorrow will not be so odd like today. At home, I was eager for bedtime that night, hoping the next day would be right. And when I woke up, there were two stinky shoes. Princess had four legs. My odd day was through. But wait! Now my room had six doors and eight beds. Today must be even. My mom had two heads. It's so odd. 
If you add an odd number to an even number, you will always get an even number or an odd number. If you add two odd numbers together, will you get an odd number or an even number?